back outside now. I'm hoping that cloud cover goes away so viewers can appreciate this. Uh, there we go. Here's a little sunshine. It's a medium garnet red metallic paint on this 1932 all steel body. Chevrolet. Three piece steel hood rotates up from the pivoting spot on the passenger side. 345 horse crate ZZ3 engine. The bay could stand a little detailing. Set up with power brakes on the frame. Steel firewall is recessed nicely to accommodate HEI distributor, Edelbrock carb. The oil is nice and clean and full. Taylor high suppression wires. Radiator fluid is clean. The car has very little uh, chippage or scratches to report. There's a couple small marks here that have been touched up close to where your shoe is when you're stepping into the rumble seat. Chrome finished frames, leather with uh, tweed inserts that compartments all padded and carpeted. Jams are in really nice shape. There's a release right down here. Closes very nicely. Top folded down from, from the previous video. The fit and finish on the body is remarkable. Door frames are all trimmed out in polished chrome. And it looks like the a tweed of the interior die has faded out some in the seats in the back side of the top that material must have started out as some type of a beige interior unless they were trying to get kind of rainbow specific on the on the coloring but i don't think that's the case this mat needs to be uh taken out and cleaned up but the rug's really in nice shape All late model wiring harness. Classic instruments, white-faced gauges. Lacaro leather wrap, billet wheel. I did it steering column. Glass is very nice. Just a very slight amount of delamination along the top edge there. And one little hairline scratch in this right vent wing polished chrome windshield frames. That's laid back about two inches from what a WEM factory was. Chrome plating on the lower portions of the hood. Chrome finish on the headlights and the grill, all very nice. Grill bar, front bumper, rear bumper, nothing uh, ill to report there. 200S uh, American Racing 5 spoke, spoke polished chromes. Car is easy to get handprints on. So other than a few very small uh, tiny chips here or there, it shows really nicely. Sixteen gallon uh, fuel tank. climb in. I think Experimental was a licensed fabricator, licensed by GM to, uh, let me find this hood release up here and then pull it locked so we don't have an issue on the drive. Okay, that looks like it's locked down. prior owner of this vehicle has passed on. 
We are selling it for his family, his estate. If you're interested, 810-691-2664 is the number to call. 6,171 miles, just over 6,000 miles driven. Battery may need a charge. Temps down at the bottom right now, fuel gauge is working. Oil pressure around 50 pounds idling cold. And we can tell the battery's down. Tack is working. Horn's working. Turn signals, turn signals. Light indicator. get through some gravel real slowly and then we'll hit the pavement up here. I'll have to read a little more about the story, but I believed they were licensed to build around a hundred of these units. GM guys, retired engineers, they did this, they tooled up and built this all steel body and ran this certain amount of units and then that was it. This is one of them. I have to knock the mud off the tires really slowly.
quite a sparkle. Still photos are available. and in person and some of the small chips that have been touched up that I marked. There's a small rock chip right here that needs a little bit of touch up. Small chip right there. A little bit of a uh, star crack in the paint right here. Gorgeous car. to idle for a while off camera make sure it's getting up to running temperature and staying at a good cool temp so far we're good there I'm gonna wrap up the video again if you're interested stop here. Nobody behind me, thank goodness. Oh. 